hi and welcome back with another video tutorial in this video we will be looking at how we can make our custom insert mesh brushes insert multi mesh brushes and insert mesh with tripod brushes so let's start by clicking on this on this uh, asset that we used to make in our first video so let's reduce this one's poly count a little bit let's reduce the resolution because we will be making insert mesh brushes with it so, so yeah i reduced it a bit too much so yeah right about 200 so let's append it into a different subtool so that we can work on it and let's delete this poly step yeah so uh, we can create insert mesh brushes by just going to our brush menu go to create menu and uh, click on this insert mesh button so right now the brush is asking whether we want a new brush or we just want to append into our some of previous brush so we just want a new brush so i can just click on this new button here and you can see that uh, right now it's our insert mesh brush and there is one written next to it which is telling us that there is only one mesh here so uh, you can see that we can draw this mesh onto our model like this so this is how we can create insert, insert mesh brush and the orientation of it is very important for example if we created this mesh uh, uh, facing the front sides but if we create a mesh uh, create insert mesh if in this orientation so if i click create insert mesh and click on this new button and you can see that now the orientation is totally different it is drawing the uh, in a different way so if we click on create insert mesh brush like this so we can go to brush tab create insert mesh and this time if we click on this append button here you will see that it will add multiple meshes like this so the orientation is different let's create an insert mesh brush like this and append it as well so create insert mesh and append it okay so you can just see the difference so in right now i'm drawing like this and now i'm drawing like this and now this is totally different so all of these uh, brushes are working in a totally different way you can see that so uh, because orientation is important uh, if you want the mesh to be drawn exactly like you want you can just uh, uh, create insert mesh according to that orientation there is also something like if i'm drawing it is uh, placing itself uh, on top of it there is some gap here and if you, you don't want this gap either you want you can just move it inside or you can just so if you're drawing multiple like 50 or 100 bolts you can't just uh, go and move all those meshes so you can just go to your depth control brush and depth and just press this inward so if i draw this again you can see that it is submerged somewhere so which i don't want that much right now i can just move it a little bit up and it's up submerged i can just move it a little bit up so it's still half submerged so yeah a bit more yeah so right now it's just uh, slightly touching the surface of my other model so you can just uh, play with the depth control however you want and if you want this brush to be used in uh, later videos for example i am creating a very specialized bolt and uh, i think that uh, this bolt will be used in multiple character i can just go to my brush tab and uh, click on this save as so i will be saying this brush on desktop insert mesh to zbp and uh, if i close my zbrush and you can see that my brush is gone now i can just import the brush i have worked on so Let's open this dynamosphere and uh, 
we can just go to our brush tab and we can click on this load brush or we can just press b and click on this load brush here go to the desktop and load our brush so we have this brush that we created before we can use it again however we want so uh, right now i have all kinds of brushes that i made uh, for my projects so i can use them all the time however however i want i have created multiple hair brushes as well so this is a very simple brush so so if we want to create a brush with the curve mode you can just click this up go to the stroke menu go to the curve mode and turn this on curve mode so let's dock this panel here to the side and okay so yeah it's because this mesh was way too dense so it is very difficult to show this so let's create another insert mesh with fields so we can just go to the brush tab and go to create create insert mesh and new so we have this brush and right now it's just dragging a single instance and but if we want to uh, create multiple instances along the curve you can just come here to the curve mode and click on it and you will see that it have been, it has been placing curves on multiple parts so uh, i have already told you how we can lock start and lock end on the curve and we can just tweak it however we want and you can see that uh, right now my curve is snapping to the surface but uh, which is because this snap has been turned on so if i turn off my snap and it's still snapping because in the picker tab we have this depth control to continuously but if i set it to once z and drag a curve again you can see that it's not snapping to the surface as well even it's passing through the surface so you can just turn on this snap when you want your insert mesh to snap on this on the surface so you can just turn this on so uh, elastic is if i click on this elastic mode and you can see that uh, it is uh, like i mean that's how the elasticity works so you can just uh, increase this uh, size of your curve uh, however you want instead of just moving it because right right now it's uh, elasticity is turned on so when uh, elasticity is turned on you can see that the lock end and lock starts are grayed out because this is how the elasticity works so there is no need to uh, lock start or lock the ends uh, because yeah it's not important when working on the elasticity there is liquid as well which i haven't used right now so it's the same as the elasticity but uh, it behaves a in a more fluidly manner so that's what liquid is i haven't used liquid before this is my first time using it okay so we also have this curve functions which we will be check out, uh, checking out later we also have this curve follow up so right now if i just undo it and go back to where we started from so we can just uh, increase the size click on this here and increase the size click on gain so we can just uh, so right now this is uh, there is nothing here turned on so if I click on this size and tap on it tap on our curve you can see that it's scaling it along the edges so which is like this so this is how it works so if I just scale it up and you can see that you can see that it is behaving according to the curve we have here so we can just flip it horizontal and uh, this is our starting point and this is our ending point and this is how it's going to behave so if I do this and click on it and you will see that it's behaving exactly however we want so which is also very important so i can just create multiple instances like this for the curve and yeah so if i tap on it right now you can see that it's totally cutting it off because 
there are some vertices, vertices that are pushing it up. Move this upward. So, so you can create uh, many as much as variation as possible using this uh, insert mesh curve brushes. So let's look at the insert mesh tripods brushes. So if I press B on my keyboard and uh, I can just go to this IMMC Pro tab here, and you can see that this is different. You know we have this. Um, starting mesh we have this ending mesh and we have a repetitive mesh in the middle so if i press shift f on my keyboard right now it's just removing the polygroups uh, but uh, the insert mesh tripods brushes have uh, like uh, three different polygroups we have a polygroup for the ending mesh we have the polygroups for the center repetitive mesh and we have the polygroups for our starting mesh so let's see how we can uh, create all these types of brushes so if i go to my other c2 like the polystyric i can just open my gizmo and click on this ring 3d and i can just accept it i can just make it polymesh 3d yeah work on it move it to the side i can just duplicate it yeah you can just duplicate it by creating another sub tool or let's delete this one because i want this in in a single mesh you can just hold control and drag and it will create another instance like this so which is very important because if you because otherwise you have to merge it here separately so if i append another cube here in this model so if I create a cube, let's make this visible as well. So, so let's scale it down. Okay. okay, cool. So this is not symmetrical. Yeah, let's. Well, it's not important that it should be symmetrical, but uh, let's just delete the hidden part and delete hidden. A delete hidden is locating located under this geometry tab modify topology and here delete hidden so yeah i can just mirror it up so this mirror is located in this uh, z plugin uh, septal master and here this is the mirror button here so okay, you can just mirror it however you want so if i just auto groups this one and so the auto groups is located under this polygroup tab. Uh, we will be covering each and every, all of these tabs uh, one by one. So right now you shouldn't worry about like I'm jumping the stuff, but we will be covering each and every topic in detail for the zebra. So this is our mesh, and right now if I just isolate some part like this and isolate these other parts like this and yeah so i'm creating polygroups for those meshes so yeah so i just want to delete those portions so i want to delete hidden yeah i forgot to mention something yeah so let's uh, open this project here and uh, create open ends on both sides so let's so this is our cylinder here make polymesh 3d and uh, if i just make an insert mesh on this i just want to show you something so if i create an insert mesh on this brush here and i go to my sphere and i click and drag this will single instance if i turn this curve mode here okay curve mode and wow what's happening here yeah i turned curve mode on my stroke yeah smooth brush i just 
have mode on and you can see that this is how it's behaving but if i want uh, each and every instance of it to be welded to the other instance so what can i do so i should have open ends on the both sides because if i want these vertices to be merged to the next vertex so let's initialize it to q cylinder q cylinder something not as small as it is so let's go to gizmo kill cylinder yeah some more subdivisions some less subdivision on the angles because we will be smoothing this out and we don't want anything on the cap so Let's make this polymesh 3D. Let's select these edges. Let's turn off perspective as well because uh, for hard surface assets, uh, you shouldn't be working in perspective because it might look weird when you're masking or sculpting something out. So, so we have these two meshes here. So if uh, you are not able to see the other side you can just go to the display properties and turn on this double here so if I press ctrl W right now I will be making polygroups of it let's select this polygroup and delete the hidden so we have this cylinder here so so if you create an insert mesh uh, in this orientation let's turn off this floor here so if I create this insert mesh brush like this, go to brush tab, create insert mesh and append. Please select an insert. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. It is. So I just lost it maybe. Do a deleter and let's create an insert mesh brush here. So brush and create insert mesh new, and we can just go to our sphere tab here and let's see whether it welds or not. So let's go to the stroke menu, turn on the curve mode, and so right now it's as you can see it's not welding. So if we go to the brush tab, let me remember where it was. So not in the depth maybe in the modifier tab yeah so in in the modifier tab you can just click on this belt points and tap on this mesh and you will see that now it has been welded into a single mesh so you can see that it has welded into a single mesh so which is very important and super useful when you're working on some meshes so if i subdivide it up right now you can see that i can easily work on this so right now it's working as a single geometry instead of multiple uh, single pipes. So there is one more thing that I want to cover when you're working on insert meshes, which is that this mesh will tile uh, in this orientation from top to the bottom. So for example, if I just rotate it like this and create an insert mesh brush, so go to the create tab, create insert mesh and click on this new button here and you can see that if I add the curve mode so if I drag you can see that it won't weld no matter what you do because the orientation is not correct and it will draw according to the orientation so let's look at how we can create a tripods brush so let's move to this tab here and you can see that I know it's a uh, multiple sub tools so we just have to merge them into a single sub tool so we can just click on this mesh and merge down and so right now we have three sub tools we have this starting polygroups we have this ending polygroup and we have this mid middle rep repetitive part here so what we want to do is uh, ch change this orientation to something like this because I told you that it will 
tile uh, from top to the bottom so let's go to our brush tab and create an insert mesh and create new and go to our polysphere and let's drag an instance so it's like dragging in single instance but if we go to this uh, right now this tripod brush is grayed out because if we turn this curve mode and then look at this here so the tripod brush has is visible so you can see that we have our starting mesh here this circle and we have this metal repetitive part and then we have this circle at the end so this is how the tripod brushes work but you can see that right now the repetitive part is not welding so we want this to be welded together so so it's, let's turn off the snap for now and go to the picker and turn it off the continuously so this is how it looks right now but if we go to the brush tab and click on this weld point so right now it's not welding but most of the cases it will uh, uh, yeah the weld points only works for the uh, simple curve brushes it won't work for brushes like this the middle repet repetitive parts maybe it will work in some cases but uh, in most of the cases it won't uh, for the tripods i think it won't work for the tripods brushes so this is how you create um, insert mesh brushes and insert multi mesh brushes and insert mesh with tripod so see you guys in the next video